Maybe just first, what uh, you know, the kind of message to your group coming off uh, the weekend and kind of looking at this back-to-back -back situation. Yeah, well, you know what? I think we've had a little bit of a drop in our game since the since uh, the Boston game. I don't think we we uh, adjusted to Toronto very well, and I don't think we adjusted to Minnesota very well. So that was the theme today about you know Toronto's a real fast team. I think they took advantage of that and. I think against many, they're a hard grind team, and I think we didn't get into that as much as we said. So we got to get back to that pace work game again, which is really important. And uh, I think you know we we we'd been really good at it until the Toronto game for through that whole trip, quite honestly, and then bringing it home too. So we still to get back to that. You think there's any correlation to the Boston game? Or is it more of an individual game? You know, maybe just sort of the, the effort that was put into that game? Yeah, I don't think it's so much about the effort. I just think that, that you know, there's, there's games where you're going to get a lot of scoring chances, and then when you don't bury them, and then, then they think it's going to come easy again, well, I'm going to get that chance, then I'm going to score. And if you look at it, we have, we have you know, I said after the game the other night, you know, you got, you got guys you're counting on just to produce some offense that aren't even, that aren't even getting scoring chances, barely. And it's not so much scoring chances, it's ozone time and possession game. So, uh, you know, you look at Naz and Lindy's line have really struggled with that the last two games. So, uh, you know, they need to bump it up again. Is that kind of part of maybe making a couple of changes? Here? Yeah, for, for sure it is. Yeah. I think that, that uh, um, Jacob's Played good wherever we put them, right? So it's up to you know, quite honestly, it's up to those veteran guys to take a step with their game. That's you know, that's that's their calling card. So do it. You know, you get we give them lots of opportunity and put them in situations to it, but they got to do it. And a good opportunity for Nick here tonight, it looks like too. Yeah, I think it's just you know, I told him the last game before the last game, I wanted to get him in at some point. I just wasn't really sure. I know I know from knowing him that he's he's not a guy that sits on the bench and plays well. So you can't really put slot him into that eight nine minute role. He's got to play higher up, and if he does, then if he's on his game, then he's effective. Otherwise, otherwise he's not in. So that's that's how you know that's how you have to use him. So we want to give him a good opportunity there. Yeah, and is part of that some of that energy too to, to maybe bring to that to that line too? Yeah, I think so. I mean, they when I go back to that line in particular, they they have very little zone time or possession time at all. So. Uh, it's pretty tough to have any scoring opportunity or to set any kind of tone for the next shift for the guys coming. Basically, they're in recovery mode, usually getting off instead of instead of a reload situation. Uh, overall, when you look at um, you know kind of adjusting, what are you adjusting to when you talk about Dallas? You mentioned Toronto and Minnesota. I think combination. You know, I think that they're, they you know have pr three pretty. You know, if you go one, two, three with them, that's a that's a high one. And then you go two, and then you go three, and those are three pretty good lines. And you look at it. so, and they're they're a balanced team. I've coached against Peter lots, and in, in uh, right from Stanley Cup Finals on down, they're you know they're not gonna they're gonna show up and check. That's for sure.